Hello everyone, myself Dr. Parth Goswami, I am the consultant pathologist and today I am going to teach you one topic from cell injury that is a lipofacin pigment. So friends, uh, this particular pigment is a endogenous pigment. Endogenous mint means it is produced within the body. Understand? So it's a endogenous pigment, not exogenous. All right. This particular pigment is a insoluble pigment example it's a insoluble and this pigment is also known by the another name that is lipochrome that is the another name of lipofacin pigment now all right okay now this particular pigment is a golden brown color and you have to remember that this particular pigment usually form because of free radical injury so it's a sign of free radical damage, free radical induced damage to the cell. All right. Now, if we talk regarding the composition of this pigment, then it is made up of two things. One is peroxidized unsaturated lipid. So the one component is lipid and another one is oxidize cross link protein so it's made up of protein also so basically there are two main component of lipofacin pigment lipofacin pigment consisting of two main things one is lipid and another one is protein right so this is basically a two component of lipofacin there is also presence of phospholipid in the lipofacin pigment so that is the composition of lipofacin all right now friends uh, this particular pigment usually get deposited in a two organ the one is liver and another one is heart and the interesting fact is that with the advanced age right with the advanced age this particular pigment you know with the advanced age there will be free radical damage to the cell so because of free radical damage lipofacin pigment will form and it will get accumulated in a heart right so with the advanced age there could be deposition of lipofacin pigment in the heart and that's why this particular pigment is known by the name aging pigment that is another name of lipofacin pigment aging pigment as it is seen with the advanced age the another name is wear and tear pigment that is another name of lipofacin so friends uh, this free uh, this uh, lipofacin pigment is an indicator of free radical injury and this particular word is derived from latin word fus uh, fuscus means brown color right that's that's why the name lipofacin is given basically there are three causes of lipofacin pigment deposition in the body one we have already seen is the advanced age right with the advanced age the pigment will get deposited in the heart which is known by the name brown atrophy of heart right all right so one exam one cause is age then it can also be seen in severe malnutrition patient and the third important cause is cancer patient cancer induced cachexia can lead to lipofacin pigment deposition so these are the three Course. all right okay uh, now i will show you a microscopic appearance of lipofacin pigment right we will talk regarding microscopic appearance of this lipofacin pigment so if you observe carefully see friends th see this round circle if you observe carefully then this is a lipofacin pigment golden brown color so first characteristic is it is a golden brown appearance right the color is golden brown second thing is that if you observe carefully it is located perinuclear so the location is perinuclear adjacent to the nucleus and it is present in the cytoplasm of cell obviously it is present in cytoplasm and the color is golden brown and still if you observe carefully then you can see that this particular pigment is having granular appearance so if we talk about the microscopic appearance of lipofacin pigment then it is a golden brown color it is a perinuclear location 
it is present in the cytoplasm and it's having the fine granular appearance right so this is all about the lipofuscin pigment hope you have enjoyed this video uh, see you soon with the next video till then take care and bye bye